Hey there, this is RL, and let's draw Mace from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. A few months ago, I decided to give back to my supporters in the form of a draw or a lottery or a competition in which I would choose six people and those six people would win a commission in which they could choose a character that they liked and have a portrait done of them or a painting. And so this video that you're seeing right now is a result of that said event. With regards to my paintings like this one, recently I've been trying to really give my artworks that depth and character and the sense of realism and aliveness that baroque or classical paintings used to have not that modern ones don't anymore it's just that there's this idea about those older paintings that you know you're looking at an artwork but at the same time you feel this spirit coming out of the image itself and I felt that if I could have that effect with my paintings I would be tapping into something more than just drawing another character if that makes sense and so I actually found that technique or that style quite suited to this character well I do believe that that style suits a whole lot of different characters from a whole lot of different genres but in the case of this character it's just that there there's something beautiful with how the white of his mask contrasts with the other details of his of his physique or of his costume and of the background itself like there's something that draws you to the center of the image and of course more than that with every human character or with every character that we can try to relate to the information of that aliveness or or that feeling of being drawn into the center of the image should be conveyed through the eyes and so drawing this or actually drawing any character I try my best to give special attention or care to that little white dot in the person's eyes, that glow of light, which indicates some form of humanity or aliveness. Because I do think, I mean, this is open to debate or discussion, that if you get the eyes right, then in essence you're pretty much getting the human being right. And so that's what I try to do with this piece and with every single piece that I do. And so far as the video is showing, we are around 50% of the work that I put into this artwork. And sometimes there's, actually not sometimes, most of the time, I get that question of how much further should I work to increase the realism of the piece. Honestly, I don't know the answer to that a lot of times and so there are two ways actually that one is to just drop your pen call it a day and sometimes I just keep on pushing and pushing and pushing and I realize that I've already given too much and there isn't much difference anymore from how it looked an hour to four hours ago but what I've come to realize is that as an artist, one thing that helps is to know how soft the artwork is. Because realism or the reality that we see right now can be determined not just by the shapes, but by the contrast created by the shadows and the light. And so, as you can see, most of the detailing that I'm doing in, this, in the later stages of this artwork 
is actually just to create the separation between the parts by essentially adding lines of light or lines of darkness into the piece from the originally blended colors. And I know some artists work backwards that they start off from solid colors and then blend together but in this case I have mostly blended colors and then start to break them apart because of because I do think that that lends to the more painterly feel of things that baroque sensation that I discussed earlier and uh, as you can see it's mostly just lines right now mostly just details and of course trying to give that grit that reality tends to have and of course I keep on trying to see what details I'm still missing because sometimes I like I said earlier I forget where I'm at already in the piece especially if I don't have an exact one-to-one -one reference of what I'm doing which is what I do most of the time. And so, that's just what happens here. And of course, I realize that the image all in all has this action feel to it because Call of Duty Modern Warfare is an action game and it's mostly based on Hollywood cinema and that's why it originally had that blue tint. But as the video is progressing, notice how I shifted it up to browner hues to again kick in that old artwork sort of vibe and again just putting in the touch-ups the parts that would lend to its reality and its painterly feel and just try to strike that balance and I'm actually proud of how this piece turned out. Hey guys, this is uh, RL, and thank you for watching, sticking around to that video. I really do appreciate it. And I duly <laughs> apologize in case you heard a little bit of roosters barking. That does not make sense, I know, but it's an inside joke, never mind. Or tricycles or motorcycles just passing by, it's just... It's the current state of where I live, and I'm actually filming this right now at 5 in the morning, and I have been filming since around 3 a.m. And so that's just the nature of things, and we got to make do with what we have, right? We And we have to do our best with whatever it is we have. And so, yeah, I really thank you for watching this video and even watching uh, me talking right now at the end of the video and I, I really appreciate it and um, yeah take care God bless and I wish everybody the best that this world can offer thank you again goodbye